Hey, what's up, fellow YouTubers, fellow toy nuts, and toy collectors? This is Starstream1988, and today I bring you another episode of Odie's Junk Heaps. And yes, this is my long awaited, for me anyway, not that anybody's actually asked, but this is my almost two year anniversary or update of the first time I ever did all my Chryslers. Um, believe it or not, <clears throat> I actually had to omit a few um, Chryslers that I have in my collection because they almost didn't feel they're maybe too modern i have a couple vipers here and there not many just a couple i really don't like them that much um the tomahawk uh motorcycles that dodge also created and there's one or two others that i just couldn't put um so i'm gonna kind of pan this around so you can see how we are compared to last time obviously if you look into my playlist you'll see my collection of um of these beautiful beautiful chrysler vehicles um, I'm gonna have to actually pick up the camera so and I'll try not to move it too much but see I mean I had the the tripod right on top of cars and everything just because it just it doesn't fit so compared to my last video and I actually try to do it exactly the same way not the same um, not in terms of the cars themselves but um, yes I do try to put them by years and I try to put them as tight as possible uh, but yeah <laughs> it's getting a lot bigger i think next time if i do this in another two years i'll have to find a different type of setup how to do this because it's just too many so let me um <clears throat> start this and um i'll try to i'm gonna actually gonna go from from right to left i guess this time around so i'm making it a little bit different from the original um here in front of me you have a i sometimes i forget some of these so i do apologize 70 roadrunner plymouth 70 roll runner um, yeah Plymouth 1970 roll runner there's another one there here we start getting to the Hemikudas and this is I believe a 67 68 it's the only one that I have um, here's the hardtop version of the 1970 Barracuda and this is actually one of the ones that came in the um, the um, those blind packs beautiful car it's been around for a while and we'll go back over here same exact car but it's the convertible version which that's how they used to usually come out there's one of the oldie ones so you've probably seen that before i used to have another version of this that the yin yang was totally opposite and it came with different rims um, so this was orange that was blue it was really nice i don't know what the heck i did with it um, but yeah here's that purple one here's a 2012 easter exclusive nice little red one there orange one now again we get to the um, hard tops again no longer shaker hood same exact year still though that's what hot wheel says anyway um 1970 no shaker hood but these are the aar kudas maybe they got rid of the shaker hoods because you know since these were the racing versions they just didn't need it there's one in yellow very nice go back over here there's one like in a purple black flat hood there there's another one there these you see these are a little bit more of the modern castings well it's the same casting but modern colors with the falcon tires and then that's the blue version there very cool uh, this one here is a, is a 71 hemi cuda so again kind of going back to the previous year with the shaker hood um the difference is the back there um you got slanted lights uh seems to be a longer light there um obviously there's the um spoiler and then here uh, the front's a little bit different as you can see and i only have one of these 71s i don't have any more but i will grab them as they come out <clears throat> Plymouth GTX beautiful beautiful big size sedan um, coupe actually but um just it's a heavier car but super powerful though that's a 67 it's the only one that I have very very nice casting very nice and then here's the very famous I want to say 71 70 71 um, 71 yep and I have a few of those and that's the longer nose one and we'll come back over here that's a 
very um this is the, the latest um color colorway of this 71 gtx and this just literally came out like a month ago and there it is in yellow green um what's it called um antifreeze antifreeze type color this is one of the specter flames i like this this is really nice this is really heavy die cast in the bottom obviously the whole body's die cast you got the red lines it's really nice yellow version there not the same yellow um they added a stripe and obviously there's some tampos there so exact same car obviously same casting different um tires rims Super famous 19, I want to say 1970 Superbird. Um, yeah, no year, but I want to say it's pretty, I'm pretty sure it's either 69 or 70 Superbird. They only have two of these bad boys. This one here is uh, one of the hot ones. The bottom is die cast, and it has that beautiful spectre flame. Beautiful. A lot of tamples, too. A lot of cool tamples. Let me kind of. Come on, focus. There you go. But yeah, all right. Moving along. I could be totally wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is a Dodge vehicle. I just forget the damn freaking name of it. All right. Here's a, another cop car. And this is the from Matchbox. I actually picked up a couple of these just because they're so cool. They always remind me of episodes of like the Deuce of Hazard. They were very, they were used a lot. And yeah, this is a 19, I think it's a 1970 Monaco. So I don't know if that's a Monaco too, just a more like late 70s, early 80s maybe. I'm not sure. Um, where were we at? Oh, right here, red car there. This is a 67. Um, crap. Oh, for the life of me, I can't see it. It's pretty It's pretty late at night, so. Um, anyway, it's a Dodge Dart. It's really the only one that I have. Um, I'm not a super fan of Dodge Darts, but, you know, how to get at least one. Here we have the, um, the Demon, I believe. Yes, Dodge Demon, 1971. I only have two of those. There's another one right there. Ah, this right here. I have quite a few of these. This is the Super B, Coronet Super B. And this is, I want to just make sure on the year so I don't say the wrong year. I want to say it's a 60, um, 69. Yeah, 69. So it's was close. <clears throat> 69 Super B, awesome Coronet car. Um, later on, you're going to see some modern Super Bs which are chargers and obviously they weren't going to revise the coronet name but they can use the super b badging again so i got that one here two there another one there beautiful and white and here's when they start actually having the super b temple right there another one in gray orange blue yellow and the red that i just had in my hand oh i love these cars They're beautiful um here we start with the chargers 67 charger awesome awesome piece it's not the one that we all know and love we'll be getting to that one pretty soon but it's still very nice very very nice car <clears throat> so going from over here here it is in gray Yellow with flames, another antifreeze, and this is again, these are hot ones, again, die cast bottom, top, very nice. The tires say uh, BF Goodwrench, really cool, and the flames are subtle, I don't know if you can kind of see that on the camera there. Alright, <clears throat> this is larger, or charger and larger and charge, I don't know what the heck it's called. <laughs> But it's supposed to be one of the first charges that actually came out. Obviously, this is a recasting. Um, so this is one of the hot ones. Also, bottom 
die cast the top with the exposed engine it's pretty cool it's the only one that i have it's the only one that i would get to i like the, the more modern take on it more um that one is the 69 charge and here's where they start so the first three that i'm showing you actually their hoods um don't actually move um the original ones the the, the hoods always move that's one that doesn't have a moving hood that one there actually the move does the, the hood does move it does open up i should say so there it is nice color too that's the 69 here's the other one with the non-moving hood here we have it in blue with gold faster than ever rims another blue with just regular five spoke rims beautiful hot ones right there with the nice rubber tires and obviously opening hood and they make sure they painted the back the front looks nice here's another one here beautiful color with uh, red lines obviously real tires the back is also painted it's just a gorgeous gorgeous car there's the engine department very cool we have another one there inspector flame very nice red with a black hood it's pretty cool moving along over here in green color that's the um, newest of the um, basically that's from the fast and furious but that's the new casting of the 1969 Dodge Daytona um, so that's what the new ones look like I believe these are the only two out unless there's like obviously a super treasure hunt or something I don't think there is but if there is whatever but yeah that's another one now this one here <clears throat> this is how I started actually collecting sorry I'm moving the camera so much this is how I actually started collecting um, Dodge the Dodge Chargers and it started with this with the 1970 Dodge Daytona and uh, Charger <clears throat> very nice car and this is I believe the first casting of it with the seven spoke gold rims and then there was a running change later on when they got tired of those or they ran out of those rims then they did the razors and it's essentially the same car except it's a little shorter it's more stout I'm not stout a little just just shorter in, in general um, there it is again in the military colors very nice this has the regular five spoke rims and then this one here has the 5H rims for five hole rims bring that forward a little bit more I love the um the kind of like no pun intended but the P51 Mustang type look <laughs> with the shark's face there very very awesome um here it is again in another color um this one again with the razors and then this is the regular five spoke rim so they definitely repeated this car quite a few times with different rims as you can see there um i don't know if this one was ever done again but this is the one with the five late with the lace rims another military style one and then now we're jumping into the <clears throat> the last of this car the final run which i didn't even know this car had been a final run until i picked up this car a couple weeks ago so but this is it so that's where it started and that's where it finished i don't have a complete collection i'm still missing a few but i'm definitely gonna make it my um one of my things to get to complete i would love to get every single version of this even exclusive ones even if they're somewhat pricey um, but yeah, <clears throat> here we have the 1974 Dodge Charger, very different look, um, that's when the body kind of changed and whatever not. Now what's interesting is, and I only have one of these two, this is also a 74 Dodge Charger, but it's this is the Brazilian Dodge Charger. It's kind of interesting, I look at it and I, I, I could swear, I obviously haven't done any, um, I haven't checked history on it. But I want to say this is probably like a Dodge Dart or something. And for the Brazilian, um, you know, for, for the country of Brazil, they probably shipped them over and they just called them Chargers just because the name was more popular. So that could be what happened with this vehicle. 
So very, very interesting. But I'm definitely going to do my research on that. Again, they're both 1974, but totally different style. Those two right there. All right, so we're halfway through. Let me kind of get rid of this out of the way here. So then here we have a... Doo -doo -doo. So yeah, these are now Challengers. And I want to say these are 70, yep, yeah, 1970 Dodge, Char um, Dodge Challengers. I have one there, one there. The Hot Wheels colorway, the darker version. This is a 1970 Dodge Charger, but this was one of the first ones that they had done. Um, so it's very old school. Um, yeah, 71, sorry. 71, um, it's old school casting. And then they kind of reimagined it there again. That is also 71. 71. That charger right there is the um, <clears throat> the 2002, I want to say. Or maybe 1990s. Oh, so like bad. Um, no year. I want to say early 2000s. Um, this was their um, concept of what they thought the charger would look like. So that's kind of why I put it in the middle because now we're in the modern era here. Now this is Chrysler Group. <clears throat> and these are the 300s, 300Cs, SRT8s. Another one there with the bling. I really don't like the blings much, but I picked up a few. But then um, I know there's been a lot more after, and I just stopped collecting them. I don't do the 300s anymore. I believe that was a treasure hunt, basic. There's another bling there, all silver. So silver and silver, except the tires are different. There's that nice orange there, kind of reddish. Now we're back to the Chargers, and this is the SRT8 with the Super B logo. So if you see the back hockey stripe there, that's what the Super B. And I want to say that all three of these were actual um, Super B colors in the real, you know, in real life. Um, every year they were doing like um, a few colors, and then there was always like an exclusive. And I know I'm pretty sure this is either 09 or 2010 exclusive orange, burnt orange, or mango orange, something like that. I can't remember. Sorry. But anyway, those three right there, very, very cool. So these are some of my favorite for the modern era with the Super B logo. All right, now over here, another version there with the nice flames, cool, kind of waves, cop car, another cop car, blue, black. Here's the Drift Charger, the 2011 with the new body style, Aurora. That red one, I believe that's from the Fast and Furious pack. There's one more right there. These these are all 2011. Uh, now we are at the Challengers, and yeah, this this is pretty much where we're gonna finish all Challengers for the rest. <laughs> okay, so this is the Matchbox version of the Challenger. There's an orange one there. Now we're back to Hot Wheels there. These are concept though. Um, with the moon roof, I believe it's just the regular version, you know, the real SRT8. And then these without the moon these are concepts. Same exact car, except the tires, gold and silver. Sorry, I'm shaking the camera so much, I'm like really tired. <clears throat> There's another nice one there. Concept still. Concept. Concept. Drift car. Very cool drift car now we're at the real SRT8 I believe these are 2010s there's the Fast and Furious one another one there another one there K&M very nice colors green another one there here we go and another K&M and that's the white one and last but not least your Dodge charger um nascar race car very very cool and that is it folks that is my collection of chryslers um of the chrysler group vehicles i should say got chryslers plymouths which are obviously in no longer existence and the um the dodge vehicles mainly again dodge chargers challengers um you know your plymouth barracudas and all that good stuff and then i had a couple here and there um, but as always guys, thank you so much for watching again. This was two years later um, Again, you can go to my playlist 
and you can see the difference of what I've added. I didn't even count to how many cars I had here, but <laughs> this is definitely fun to do. And um, I'll probably do this definitely again in two years, uh, another two years from now. So probably by 2016 in March again. As always, guys, thank you so much. I do appreciate it. Peace, rate, subscribe, share, comment. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like my video. And I will see you guys later. Peace.